another amazing night. David Edwards, a physics teacher, uh, said he just wanted to get somehow, if he could, up to six figures. He'd probably never teach physics again, or certainly not, uh, not for long. He got up to more than that. He got up to £250,000. He then got this question, and he didn't have to play this. He got no lifelines left. The Newlyn School of the late 19th century is associated with which group of people? Method actors, circus entertainers, painters or musicians? Didn't have to play it. He said there was an element of doubt as well. He thought it was probably painters, and he went for it, risking £218,000. David... It's absolutely the right answer. You just won five hundred thousand pounds. Half a million. Yeah. What a night! How do you feel now, David? Um, uh -huh. I'll let you know in about two minutes' time. <laughs> right. Have a look at this. <coughs> you came for six figures. Right. You've now got £500,000. You want to touch this one? Oh, go on, do whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, take it, put it in your pocket. No, 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 no. no. You keep it, Chris. OK, that's very kind, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, you've got half a million. How do you feel, Dave? I'm not sure, <laughs> to be honest. I'm in a masochistic sort of way. I'm enjoying it, but uh... <laughs> sorry, Viv. Yeah, I can tell you in a masochistic sort of way, Viv has not been enjoying it since about <laughs> question number six. I think you did say when you got to a quarter of a million, you said that's probably more money than you've ever actually been paid in yep, your whole I life. I think so. Well, you've now got twice that amount. You can obviously walk away with this. You've had no lifelines for a while, <clears> but have a look at the question. If you go for it and give me a wrong answer, you lose £468,000. But it's worth £1 million. It's question number 15 of the possible 15. Here it is. If you planted the seeds of Quercus roba, what would grow? Trees. Flowers. Vegetables, grain. Quercus is a type of tree, Chris. I just hope that, <laughs> that it doesn't cover the others as well. I, I, certainly not vegetables, certainly not grain. I don't think flowers. I certainly know of trees that have got the uh, the uh, botanical name Quercus. I'm going to go for it. Sure, sure, hang on. Yes. Can we just calm down, please, audience? <laughs> yeah, I'm delighted, but can we just remind David that if he's wrong, he loses £468,000. It's not your money, everybody, OK? <laughs> It's your call, David. Just take your time. You've got five hundred thousand pounds. You can walk away with five hundred thousand, but it's worth a million. No, I'm. Uh, I'm almost certain. It's a horrible word, almost, isn't it? Just at this level. Yes. No, I. I. I'm not quite sure which trait it might be. An, it might be the oak. I'm not sure. Might be a type of oak, but I'm um, I'm nearly certain it's a tree. I don't like the way you're screwing up your eyes. But... I don't like the way you keep saying nearly. <laughs> <laughs> you want to play? I'm going to play. You're risking five hundred thousand pounds. Oh, I know, I know, and I know just the friend I would have phoned to find out as well. <laughs> Final answer. Mm -hmm. You had five hundred thousand pounds. You went for trees. If you'd gone for <laughs> flowers, <laughs> you'd have just lost four hundred and sixty-eight thousand pounds. If you'd gone for vegetables, 
you'd have just lost £468,000. If you'd gone for grain, and you didn't think it could possibly be grain, if you'd gone for grain, you'd just have lost £468,000. Have a look at that. Have a look at it. One million pounds. 